Welcome to a very special episode of At The Bar Podcast. We are here live at World Beer UCF. I am Mike. On the I far am Jeff. Jeff, Mr. Hollywood with the sunglasses here. So, Jeff, tell us what we what is going on in this very special episode. All right. So, in this episode, for once, I'm actually contributing. I, uh, <laughs> you, I've been you contributed for, for all the episodes. I've been saving I for say three years now. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, not three years. The three-year vertical. Uh, okay. So, we're going to do a vertical of Bourbon County brand stout. We're not doing what? any of the... Of the uh, kind of off ones, the the one offs that they do, it's just the the brand stout they do the every regular year, one. Yeah. Um, which t- this year was one of my favorites from them. Uh, I haven't opened mine up yet. I'm saving it for okay, a year. Yeah, well, never tried. You any get to of them. try. You get to try them today. It's going to be the same beer, three different years. Uh, there's subtleties. They changed a little bit of the brewing process, so there will be differences in it. But um, the big difference is going to probably be seen from last year to this year as they change the bottle size. So. We'll see. It went from we'll a see. 12 ounce to a 16 two, yep. um, which has led to a lot of the problems that they had this year with the with the souring and, and the, the different affected off flavors. batches, right? So uh, we'll see. If uh, I had this one on tap, and it was amazing. So okay. this year's was real good. I thought it was the best year they've had yet. Yep. But we'll see how it is out of the bottle. Um, we'll but see. yeah, we got a three year vertical of that. We also, if we want to kick it off with with something that I think is a weird beer, we could do that. Sure. I'll, uh, we should be we should be all right. You want to do that? Uh, Let's do the vertical first, because I don't know how much sun we're going to have left. Okay, okay, I, yeah, I, we'll I definitely want to get this. The, of course, we don't rehearse anything. We just hook everything up, hit record, and go. I think that's part <laughs> of our charm. <laughs> I think that is part of the I charm. I didn't know you guys had charm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. A little bit of sass. All right. So we so have our, our sample glasses here, and we have, we have fresh ice water to refresh our palates. So that is 13, 13 14. 14. Like I said, they changed Obviously, the packaging, so we've got that's the, f- the 15, the 15 this here, year's. which is actually, this is the back of the bottle that has the label on it. The front has Bourbon County etched into the glass, and yeah. then all of them have this little like flag label on the top, which I like, is pretty I cool. Liked, I like that. The new packaging, it's, it's, it's very really nice. old-timey, really yeah. but also pretty new, so it's like right. retro chic, I would call it. I dig it. I like it a lot more than the, the, than the typical too, packaging. I, like, yeah. I like that I'm paying the same for 16.2 ounces instead of 12, right. as long as they can figure out how to bottle it properly. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> This one, I, you know, I had no intentions of turning this into a vertical. Uh, I bought the first one when actually I first started working at World of Beer. And I didn't even know that aging beers was really a thing you could do at that point. So I yeah. bought it. It was it was sitting in, in my closet. And I was just kind of like, oh, I'll get around to drinking it. A few months went by. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I am just going to try and, and <laughs> yeah. collect a vertical of it. Yeah. So, uh, it's, a good, it's a good starting point. You yeah. Know? I mean, it's it's my first vertical that's actually come to a completion as, as I've think three years is kind of the minimum that you can do for a vertical right i do have two years of of 120 minute as well but we'll get that one we'll going. get that I might, go to yeah. five, I might go five years on that okay because i've done five years before with uh with the 120 minute yeah and that might be a big one i don't know pass it to me yeah i've done uh five years before with the 120 minute and it was um very good so <laughs> that might be a big one he pours the same amount <laughs> well we'll see let's see that's yeah, okay look at i got an even bigger <laughs> one these are five ounce glasses so apparently there's 18 ounces in here you're gonna save that for uh oh wait yeah darren yep we'll save that for darren so uh 13 color, color dark great. yeah motor yeah. oil the the head, minimalistic head, retention. head yep which i think is a good thing is uh still carb good it's but not over carb it's good it's got a yep. copper color uh yeah. nice nice for what the brand is um let me see really quick i don't know if the abv is the same on all of them so i'll do a little research while we're going this one's 14.2 for 2013 so it's going to be probably around so we're going to be drunk by the end of the episode you will yeah, like I, every episode oh my god i'm always <laughs> drunk at the end of the episode yeah. all right well here guys let's try it man cheers it's so only smell. been three years in waiting smell it smells incredible yeah boozy smells, like, smells yeah figgy booze and barrel booze barrel fig dark fruit plum it smells, you it smells smell really plum good. and everything. <laughs> you smell barley wine and everything. I do. <laughs> I, it's either a barley wine or a pilsner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> smells good. Just from having wow. had Bourbon County recently, I can tell you that the flavors mellowed out in a really oh, yeah. great way on this. Yeah. Um, by the way, don't finish it all the way, Goose. And you got, I mean, you know, but we're going to try them all back to back. But so we're going to drink about like half of it. Yeah. This is uh, right. the flavors have mellowed out a lot where it's yeah. really in balance and. The booze has fallen off a lot too. It's not as boozy as I would have expected. I agree with good. you, but it's you get rounded. a lot of it in the back end. Yeah, it's rounded you get back. A end. lot of barrel and booze linger on your palate. 
This is a great. This is a great. This is, this yeah. aged very well. Yeah. This um, is. considering we don't have Boston's laboratory of aging. Oh, beers. I mean, considering that mine is uh, my choices are closet or or fridge or trunk or a trunk Car age and some beers. Yeah, though, yeah. Man, that's, that's the way to do up. it. The Jeff way. But yeah, this is. Re- I I really like how this turned out. Um, it's a little. It's not as boozy in the front, but you get to linger. I do get and and it's a very minor but i do get a tiny bit of like acidity to the front a little that, bit like that yeah. kind of tiny metallicness to it which i think possibly could be just to be see on the inside of the bottle oh, yeah. cap here yeah yeah there's a little funk in there i don't know if that's what it is but it's nothing that's spoiled the beer at all it's just a tiny hint of it which maybe we'll see when we get to next uh, to last year's might push that one they do say that these are the recommended age on. They're what? Uh, at least a year, but I think prime one, is one three to years. Five years. One to five, but I think a lot of people say three is the sweet spot. Right. So this should be right in there. This is three. So for the I, for the thirteen batch, the two thousand thirteen batch, um, goose. I mean, what do you? You've never had Bourbon County style I've before. No, no. So this is all new for me. This. So we'll, we'll get to my opinion give it later. A second. On. Yeah. Give it Let a it second. warm up. Let it warm up too, because what what we should do? Try it. Cold, cold, cold. We're not going to get them back to back, like right here, sip, sip, sip. Right. Then we'll try them all warm, and then we'll go back to back and see which one we really. It, that's when you'll see the big character changes. Yeah, in you them. get a lot more flavor and a lot more booze comes out when it warms up. I know. Yeah, I know which, you yeah, want yeah, 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 yeah. stouts. So we're gonna leave that there. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna rate it. Cold 2013 Bourbon County. I'll give it an 8.5. 8.5. Uh, I'd go higher. Okay. Um, this was the year prior to them selling to AB. Okay. Um, which a lot of people said last year's fell off in flavor, and I mm-hmm. kind of agreed. So I'm going to give this one like an 8-8, eight, eight, and then we'll go from there. I think I think last year's may be really good, uh, but I remember having it on tap last year and being underwhelmed. So yeah. we'll see where it goes. But I'll, I'll change mine. 8.7. 8. 8.6, I take it back. 8.6. Goose, what are you giving this? I give this a 9. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would I would make fun of you for never having it, but I've also never had last snow. Well, now you have for two. For now. Now you have two. I have one and a half bottles. Yeah, we have to share one, I guess, even though I kind of owe you. I, I might I might buy another bottle every week as leverage to get Valor 2. So, <laughs> a little bit less funk in the A little less in funk the in the, in the 14. ABC also, I did see it on here. You can see kind of that's outside little, of where the beer would be, but little, there is a little, little bit of ring of like rust almost on the yeah. bottle. But that's, like I said, that's outside where the beer would have been. But yeah. you can see that it's sealed that has though. Age on it, so yeah, it's sealed. This though. one's a cleaner bottle cap. So this is the 2014. I, I've had the 13 fresh, and it was pretty phenomenal. Um, this one has even less head on it. I think I'm pouring so this is the new pouring. This is the new one. I mean, the one where a- Anheuser Busch acquired. I thought they acquired this Goose Allen and like this one's lower. This one's thirteen eight. The other so one's fourteen two. Okay. So uh, close. Very close. Still Very way close. way too high for a normal beer, right. but whatever. Right. Um, no, this was the year because uh, last year was the first earlier. one that they that they put out as AB. They purchased so the them. 2014 is the first one as AB. Correct. They, okay. they purchased them. It, it, I might get corrected here, but I'm 95 percent sure because this, the 14 was the first one that they put out when I worked at Wab. Okay. So that would be at, right after AB purchased them. Now AB purchased them well before Bourbon County was released. So right. I don't know. To me, that means the batch was brewed once they were AB. Well, they they brew it way before they release it. Like it's already done. It's barrel aging, so they yeah, may so have I would still assume... been Goose Island at the time when this was brewed and, and put in barrels. Right. And then AB distributed, but I do distinctly recall that the barley wine was underwhelming right. and the stout was underwhelming right. of this year. So right. I don't know. They, they also have... had vanilla that year that was amazing. Oh yeah, I remember that so one. So yeah. they, you know, they hit on some and they and they missed on some. Same right. as every year this year. Yeah. You know how many people didn't like Regal Rye? I thought Regal Rye was awesome. The coffee was incredible this year. Yeah. So they hit on some, they missed on some. I always yeah. find their barley wine a little bit eh, but that's just me. Yeah. I mean, they they probably have 2017. They're probably making 2017's Bourbon County because they have let it age for like a year. I thought. I have no idea how long it ages for. Well, we'll I'll, I'll look it up. It smells like it has us. a lot of age on it. <laughs> yeah. So you know. Or Matt. That's Shout all. That Matt. can always be deceiving, though. Yeah. 
So let's go on to 2014. Color is the exact same. Smell is, is a smell. sweeter smell for sure. Oh, yeah. Similar, but Definitely a lot. not as a boozy smell at all. Right. No, it's a it's, lot. It's, it's this sweeter. one's swapped it's out. More, yeah. You got more like sweet than boozy. A little strange. Yeah, I guess the booziness disappearing with a lower ABV makes a little bit of sense, but the sweetness usually it's comes through sweeter. with a higher ABV. So it has a better nose, I think. I like the nose. I, I, the, prefer, I prefer this the, nose more. I like the other one nose better. Ooh, okay. Really sweet. Very sweet. Really very, sweet. Uh, sugary. Yeah. Almost sugar watery. Very much oh. boozier. I think in the taste. I don't taste the booziness from that at all. I taste pure sugar. Yeah, like I can almost get like a like a tea. Like yeah. it tastes like a stout tea down your throat. That like warming. No, feeling. I don't get that Not at all. all. I yeah. get very. I get a lot of sugar. Yeah. I came in with a predetermined view of what I thought this was going to be, which sucks because I already thought that last year's batch wasn't that good. But I actually think this is better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. It's just very sweet, and I think I think sweet. another year of age would have milded out some of those very sugary notes. Now, didn't they change the recipe uh, for 2004 from 13 going into 14? So 14 batch. I think they batch. alter it a tiny bit every year, a little bit. Mm. I don't like this one as much. No, I don't. At like, all, I don't like this. Uh, Goose, what do you, what do you think? Is this too sweet? Way too sweet yeah. for. A, for a bourbon barrel stout. Like it's, 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 still, very, it's still on my palate. Like the sweetness is still it's there. It's weird because, yes, this this taste hangs on, but I also feel like it dries out the front of your mouth. Like yeah. not, not tannic I'm in the salivating. way that you're – Not like a sour where your mouth dries out. But like, right. like the front of my mouth, like my lips – stick to my teeth like it's yeah like i get a, that too yeah, yeah. It's just it's just that sugary stickiness it's, it's like it's, it's it, it tastes like it's like a stout tea it's molasses, molasses. it's very yeah. sugary and yeah i mean i as far as flavor goes rating it on its own we didn't just try 13 i'd still give this a high score okay what would you give it eight four eight four eight okay. five what did i go eight eight last one you went yeah I th- eight, 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 eight eight or something yeah, yeah. this is a b plus noticeably what up, bro? What's up, bro? Unless if they add beer cheese. They add it. Yeah, I'll get it on the, uh, before she tries to get it, I'm going to make sure she can get in. Okay, good. Hey, way to fucking interrupt, bro. Yeah. See, guys, this is the charm <laughs> of our show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mike Peterson has little boys hidden away in his closet. Ah. Yeah, that's where you live, little boy. <laughs> Great. Uh, isn't our show so charming? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's fantastic. So you give this uh, one an, a B. An eight, eight, four. An eight, four, and eight, I'm five. I'm giving it a, a solid B, but not not great. And, and the thing is, Bourbon County, I think, is is the way that it's marketed and the way that people go after it, it's an A beer. That's an A-list beer. Right. I agree with you so on that. So I would yeah. say this is underwhelming for what they're doing, and it's an eighty. It's an 84 to me. 8-4. Eight, 8-4. Four. Eight, four. Goose, what are you thinking? For someone that's supposed to be a barrel aged stout it doesn't i mean you get a little hint of that after a year but not a ton not, of barrel no, no you get not at all. It, it's not it doesn't taste like it's supposed to be for me so i'd give this like a seven two Ooh, you really scathing on this yeah, 14 I, I shouldn't have talked shit beforehand <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna give it a, ooh, i'm probably give it a 7.7 7. now this one does taste and i'm just gonna say this just because i want to influence goose's opinion of it but oh, this thanks. does taste Not like when improved. it warms up it might be a lot better okay i'll wait for it so to these, warm these, up. these are all cold scores score, cold, cold scores. scores but this is the kind of beer that does think that booziness that we're missing will come out more and these flavors might get well that's what i'm excited for you yeah, to see to see how it, so we'll see we'll see all right i don't remember anyone's score so we'll when i'm editing i'll do a cold and hot Cold and warm score. All right, and now the beast. I, I like I how they put the working the, up to it like it's the grand finale when it should actually woo! be the worst one of the three, considering it has the least age on it. But yeah, well, we'll find out. But I'm digging. I'm digging what they did with the glass. You know, they put the the Berman County like I like I like that bezel on it. Bottle a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna keep my bottle. So this one's really fresh and still has almost no carbonation on it, which is indicative of a bourbon a bourbon barrel aged stout. Oh so. hey. These? Maybe upstairs. I have no idea. 
<laughs> Hell of a GM, have, guys. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> I'm going to leave this one out, even though, just for a second, just so you guys can look at the bottle um, with the little thing over here. That so it actually says over here, uh, develops in the bottle up to five years. So that's what it's supposed to be, a five-year. That's why they say five-year age is, right. is the maximum. Right, right, right. Um, this is the original bourbon barrel aged stout. I don't know if I believe that because I think Lexington kind of beat everybody to the punch on that, but we're going to drink a Lexington beer after this anyway. Cool bottle. You numbered? You can't. They're all numbered, actually. Yeah, yeah they're no all shit. numbered because have uh, in they my have fridge. to. They have to, and that's actually how they corrected the issues with their um, souring of their, oh, their yeah, ones I this heard year. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They released the numbers that were of the batch that were soured. Yeah. So, so um, what, what number is that? I couldn't even tell you. It's on the back. See the, the the initials here. Uh, no, right there, top right. Oh, that's just the brew. Oh, that's a signature or initials. Yeah, I take it back. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's on there. Whatever. This one is thirteen point seven percent, so this is right in line with uh, fourteen. Let's do fourteen. So they went down from thirteen, which was fourteen point two percent. Um, really cool bottle. You guys yeah, really probably cool. can't see it, but we'll try to get a, a good picture up for you of it. Right. With the uh, with the actual embossed kind of like, embossed, uh, yeah, yeah, bevel, whatever the fuck, beveled, uh, whatever the hell you call it. We're not scientists. Embro embroidered, embroidered. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the hell it is. But it's it's a cool bottle, really awesome looking. And actually, the cool thing about this is this is the this is like the economy line for what they do with Bourbon County, and this is the exact same packaging that you see. On coffee, on regal rye, on just a rare. Different color. The only difference is rare comes in its own wooden case, which is cool. Yeah. But um, the black. This is like black yeah, label Johnny Walker. They basically <laughs> use the exact same packaging for all of them, which I think is pretty cool. Because yeah. Yes, Bourbon County brand stout is their lowest offering of Bourbon County, but it's still a higher offering than anybody else is putting out. Right. So. It should. It deserves to be in a in a good package. So exactly, I, I think this is a great way to just. I like put how it they describe it. It's uh, intense aromas of charred oak, vanilla, caramel, and smoke. So and it, I think it hits on all of those. Okay, um, cool. This one especially. This one has an entirely different nose on it than the other two. So look, looks the same. Nothing. They all look the same so far. Yeah. Right. The beige head. Do you agree? Black. A different nose, or do you think it's similar? I, I mean, I'd say it's similar to the. I'd 13. say it's very similar. Yeah. yeah, it's similar to the thirteen. You get a lot, a lot okay, of booze. It, it is a lot more similar to the thirteen than the yeah. fourteen. Yeah. Well, the fourteen is super sugary sweet. So yeah, this is a lot more like the thirteen in in terms of aroma. Yeah, very yeah. hard. Color is great. Yeah. Head is good. Yeah. Everything great good color so far, on yeah. everything. I like this a lot. It could definitely use more age. If, if, but if, this, if this were to be aged, it'd be a lot better. But I think it, it is. I think it, it is very, very good. I think this is as good as the thirteen was. Granted, I'm about to yeah. try them back to back. I right. think this is as good as the thirteen was mm -hmm. right now. Because I think the thirteen had that slightly metallic-y kind of taste to it, where I think this is. Doesn't have any any off flavors whatsoever. Perfect flavor. I know. I I get a lot more booze. I get a lot more barrel on this. You will. Yeah, it has. In the very out front, yet. the very front, and it goes from front to back in terms of on your palate. And I like that because going vastly into, more complex. Right, it's, going into Bourbon County, you have to expect to have it's a big beer, big barrel aged beer, and I get that from start to finish. So I like I like even though it's fresh, I really like this, this one a lot. Now, I think that this batch has been talked about as being one of the best ones they put out in a while mm -hmm. but i think that this would do well to have some age on it yeah like i think that these flavors that we're tasting will all it probably will be less complex but it'll probably taste a lot it'll be better, more velvety right if if we let all those flavors mold together a little bit but right. it, as far as a score goes it's very rare that i would rate the, num the the most recent beer in a vertical as the best or most complex. Right. But I think this is the best of I all. I 100% agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely an, an A beer for me, for sure. Um, I, I would give this a 9.3. I'm right there with you, 9.3. Yeah. yeah. Probably about think? the same, yeah. The thing so, the thing with this, and it's, it's interesting because it almost, we don't know the timeline of how it worked, but this is a weird vertical, and that's kind of why I was excited to do it because... You went from independent brewer, first year with macro, Yeah. after they ironed out macro. So yeah. it's almost like 
each of these beers tells its own story, which is yeah. kind of cool because you don't get that with every vertical. Right. If you were to do a five-year vertical, a dogfish head, or a 10-year vertical, a dogfish head 120, yeah. it's the same brewer doing the same thing for 10 years. Yep. So it's like, yes, the beers are different. They've changed. And believe me, if you do a five-year vertical, a 120 minute, you will not be disappointed. One of the coolest things to see how much those beers have changed. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. But um, this tells a story because this is like, this is when they were the small guy doing their thing. Yep. This is when AB first got them and took over. Yep. And this is like, we're a big dog now. Right. We're on the macro level, mm -hmm. and we're putting out quality beer on a right. big scale. Right. And also, it looks the same way in the way they were distributed. Small distribution, medium distribution, huge distribution. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's just, it's a cool vertical, and I was really excited to do it. I should have waited another year and did it later. <laughs> Well, I like it because Goose Island arguably was the first big purchase of AB into craft. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some people might say Blue Point, Goose Island for sure. Goose Island was a bigger name. They were was in bigger more name. places. Is the bigger was the first craft brewery that Anheuser Busch purchased. I'm gonna save some for Darren, but I'm still topping myself off. Go for it. So, verticals are always fun to see how it ages out. But I mean, this I thought this was fucking awesome. Um, 2015 is my favorite though out of out of all. 15 of them. was my was nine three was my favorite. Yeah. I think it has the most, for sure, the best quality of of everything. Yep. Yeah. Um, we don't know how it would age. I can speculate that I think it would have been better with two years, but also we could have gotten that little bit of metallic taste or something in it. So you yeah. never really know, and especially. Yeah. With this year having problems with souring and and uh, you know infections in the beer, maybe it's better we got to it now. So I agree. I mean, we don't know also how Goose Island brew how the process of brewing. We don't know when these were brewed, first brewed. We don't know if two, if they already made 2014 before AB came in. We don't know that. We don't know how far ahead or behind or, or left or right they are. Not at all. But I, I find it very. What I learned from this was was how different the same beer can taste over three different years. How 2013 was great. 14 fell off for whatever reason. Ingredients, process, whatever. But two thousand, but they came back with 2015 and like got it again. And it was just, I always recommend doing verticals because you, 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 so that's awesome. how you learn. And honestly, it's not a huge investment. Like, yes, it's a time investment of three years. Yeah. But I think I paid... Uh, I think I paid like twelve dollars for 2013 because I believe I got it at uh, on-premise store for retail. Yeah. But if you went to a Total Wine or a, your local liquor store that has good craft beer selection, it's not much more. Than you're that. looking it's at like eight, eight bucks, nine bucks. Yeah. Uh, my 14. Shamrock still has those. My 14. I got. Uh, Gotta pick one of those up. I got my 14 at Shamrock, and yeah. it already was. Um, it was already a year aged. Oh, and no I shit. bought it a year aged at the same time that I bought 15. So okay. I was looking for my vertical that way. Yeah. Because I wanted. You, and you lucked out getting the 14. I, I had the 13. I was like, I want to get the 14. I'll find it somewhere. I thought yeah. I was going to have to trade for it. And then I happened to walk into a liquor store that had it. And I was yeah. like, no even shit. with a year of age already and the new year already out, it was only nine bucks. Yeah. And then this year's was like yeah. was like 12 bucks or 13 bucks. I, so. I give it to Goose. The, the price point on this beer is phenomenal. Right, yeah. Phenomenal. For something. If you like stouts. Yeah. <laughs> For releases yeah. one time a year yeah. with a big you know, Black Friday release every year. They, I mean, they do it right. They make it cool. Base they beer is awesome. affordable, especially with the 16 point whatever ounce for $10, like... That's great. And you, you can't and beat that. 14%. Yeah. All the great yeah, flavors. Uh, I mean, amazing beer yeah. that's coming out. And even like we're talking shit about 14, uh, about 2014, but it's like it's still not even a, at 8, it's 4, not bad. Or 7, 2, yeah. like you said, that's better than your normal barrel-aged Imperial yeah. Stout. Most of them. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, it's still a good beer. I would drink 14 all day. I would too. If 13 and, and 15 didn't exist. No, I'm I sure. Would do, I would do the same thing. Even though I rated it so low, I would still drink a lot of it. And yes. I w my grade was in comparison, Correct. not overall. Now, 2014 overall stout, I'd give it probably an 8.5. But in comparing the three together, it gets a significant less score. Right. So a slightly, a slightly worse beer right. comparison to the other two the other that two. were very right. a lot of quality. But even the 14, I would probably give an 8.7 if we're just talking stouts in general. The, now, the 13 is really cool because the 13 was they didn't know they were AB or even in the market yet. This is... That was their baby. This was the one they put their love into, if yeah. I had to guess. I mean, like, yeah. that's if, – if you're building up your flagship, 
and you're you're getting to the point where every year you want it to be a little bit better. This is the last pure year of Goose Island's baby. Yeah. You know? And I think this I, I think they took what they got from A B, all the support, all the know how, all the money, the money the connect, everything. The, everything connected. And they put it into fifteen, which is why fifteen is better than they probably could have done on their own. Yeah. And but yeah. It's cool that this beer was on their own. Yeah, thirteen. And we, we talk a lot of shit about AB, and we have a, a right to. But I think in this circumstance alone, I think the fact that they were bought out by AB benefits the community because it makes Bourbon County that much more available to everybody. So the, the with AB more, buying them yeah. out was works out for us. More available. Quality. It doesn't. It doesn't help the bar so much. Right. That now. I'm saying that because we're a, 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 a buyer on a huge scale with World of Beer. Yeah. Now, it helps your local bottle joint that you go in for craft beer. That's a small operation. Um, the guy who maybe wouldn't have qualified to get Bourbon County, but now that it's in larger distribution, they get it. So that's cool that everybody can go to any any craft beer store and get Bourbon County now. Right. I get where that's huge, but... For World of Beer, it actually hurts us when distribution is higher because we were going to get it either way. Right. And now everybody can get it anywhere. And now what used to take a day to sell takes a week to sell. And that's what kind of sucks about getting into huge distribution is you're so available that it becomes less of a cool Waters thing. Waters everything down. And that's why, that's why you know, uh, one 20 minute release is twice a year now. Still probably the best double IPA that you can get out of America in my opinion your opinion I think head, of, I think Hetty Topper is the best one okay yeah but one of the best it, well Hetty Topper does available yes. yes widely available I agree with you 100% okay. 120 is the Still, best one now what used to take us a or day to sell out what took uh, World of Beer in Lake Mary three years ago uh, 20 minutes to sell out of a keg of of 120 minute wow now we'll be on now we'll be on tap for a week the no. the the kind of cool factor of it has gone away because it's in mass distribution. That doesn't make the beer any worse, as we've just seen. Right, quality is still was there. knocking on the door to get this year's Bourbon County Stout, and right. it's the best of these three. And there's still some on the shelf everywhere. Right. Shamrock has at least 12 still on the shelf. And it's the best of... And I'm sure Total it's the Wine best of a three -year vertical. Has, has them. And ABC and all the big Lukens and all these liquor stores have all these, the standard ones left over. But in terms of the AB buyout, quality is still there. It doesn't surprise the me. The availability with, still is good. It doesn't surprise me that with a one-off, that quality is there with AB. Right, right. I think where your quality goes down when you get purchased by a macro is in your core, where they are cutting because they're going to cut the cost, cost yeah. to put that beer out at a better margin. So right. when you're when you're talking about like Breckenridge. And they're now their vanilla porter is probably going to suffer a tiny bit as long as they put it out in the right way. You good? What? Yeah. Okay. I just eventually. You, you look. You look antsy. As long as oh, they put man, it out in a hurts. in a the right way and they keep making it with the same ingredients, vanilla porter shouldn't fall off. But because of the vast quantity of vanilla porter that is sold, right? They're probably going to put it out in a cheaper way, which is where your core suffers. However, one-offs are different, the opposite, actually, because if you have money, you're going to put more money into your rare beer right? because you have it available. right? So that's why I think one-offs is like maybe a benefit to have more money than God like AB does. Yeah. But like in your core, it's all about cutting costs. In your yeah. one-off, it's all about quality. Yeah. So I think that that shows through here that more money equal to better beer. Yeah. So in terms of the AB buyout, I think this worked out for everybody in terms of the craft beer community. Yeah. Quality is still there. Unfortunately. Yeah. AB <laughs> can still suck it. <laughs> That's going to be our a, a shirt. Them on blast right a, now. AB suck it. But yeah, this, this is, is awesome. So let's, I think these have warmed up. Uh, they've warmed up. A, it's a little chilly outside, so it's yeah. not going to warm up more than, you know, 60, 70 degrees. But. So as the sun's going down, definitely want to get this banged out. Yeah, they've warmed up a good amount. Yeah. I should have taken 15 out when I took the rest of them out, but... Oh, well. All right. So we're going to the 2013 13. warm. The nose comes through a little stronger. Yeah. Which yeah. should. It, a it lot should. more booze, mm -hmm. which is expected. Oh, my. Oh, the flavors wow. are awesome, right? Isn't that crazy how much it yeah. changes? It oh just by it's a lot warmer. 
people, you I've can, been telling people for wow. two years now, let your stouts warm up. Let I'm getting warm goosebumps. Up. Just, oh, my God. Why? Uh, any malt-based beer, let it warm up. The I'm glass is deceiving. The glass feels yeah. kind of cool, and you and drink you it. Sip it's, it's and it's got a warm. complete, yeah. yeah. It's, I, I don't advise letting IPAs warm up, and I definitely don't advise letting any Pilsner. Well, you shouldn't be aging light. IPAs anyway. Well, no, let, no, but warming them up. If you oh, get one oh, on a bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I drink those cold and drink yep. like your Pilsners, Pilsners, your light lagers, all those yep. things. Cold. Because you know why everybody likes a cold Bud Light has all the flavor because, it's because there's no flavor. Yeah. But if you let that beer shit. warm up and everybody goes, man, I can't drink those beers weir- warm. The reason is because you can taste them now. That's yeah. what they actually taste like. Yeah. Let your stouts warm up and you'll wow. get all the flavor. This just went from a B to an A to me. Yeah. By a lot. Yeah. Like a large margin. It's going to be interesting to compare this one to the 15 and see which one's better. I think I gave up. this one an, uh, an 8.3, something eight, like that. Eight. You gave it an 8.7. An 8.7? Eight, seven. Seven? You gave it an 8.7. I would give this one a 9.3. Yep. I Easy. Gave this, I gave this a 9. I went, I went 8.7 and I'm going to go 9.3 as well. Yeah. I, that Which is what I gave 15 cold. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think this Definitely is an A beer. Big up. It's an A beer. Sure. I gave this a 9. I'd give it a 9.5. Same 5. Really? Point, okay. Yeah, same okay. 5 point increase warm. So this is like one of your favorite beers right now. Yeah. Warm. Right now this would be. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> awesome. First time trying it. All right. <laughs> so Jeff finished his third. I'm going to save a little bit for oh, after. Oh, I didn't even go one on one on one. Damn it. Yeah, I actually gotta get, I gotta start doing. Some. Oh yay! Goose is a good guy. Which, okay, which one's which? Is that thirteen? This is fourteen, and this one's fifteen. Okay, so that, right. I just gave All him right. thirteen. Fourteen. Right. Okay. You ready? Everybody ready? No, yep. oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this right. is the one I think could have stood the most to gain out of out of getting warm. This is the underdog right now. This is, this. Well, this is the one that we all rated the lowest. Yeah, yep. but also. I, I did truly feel that this one will gain a lot of flavor when it when it warms up. Okay. Which we'll it was very out. sweet and really sugary, really so it might sugar, get yeah. even more sweet and more sugary. But we'll find out. I think the booziness is going to counteract that sweetness that we tasted before. Booze has come out in the smell as I. As I you can, you, can you still get the smell. sugar. Isn't it kind of crazy though? Because before this one smelt way sweeter. Way sweeter. And now like I tea. feel like thirteen like smells tea. sweeter than this one. Yeah. No, thirteen's. No. No, it's 13 is a lot more boozier. I can definitely smell a little bit more sh- sweetness out of 13s, but this one still smells this a lot more This one's a lot sweeter. sweeter. 14. 14, here Let's we go. Let's do it. I still don't like it. It got it got better. It, it definitely it got, got better. better. Just a little It mellowed bit. out. Mellowed out. A lot. Yeah. A lot. Uh, <laughs> underline that, a lot. Like, yeah, this is not nearly it, as The body syrupy. dropped, too. Yeah. yeah it, it got thinner in the body. Usually the opposite. Yeah. Normally it gets thicker. For me, warm 2014 Bourbon County increases in score. I think I gave it like a mid-seven. You gave it a seven-seven. Seven-seven, something like that. Look to the video. I would probably give this one 8.3. I think that's where I was originally with it. Yeah. And I think it's it's staying right around there. I'm going to give it an 8.4. I'm actually disappointed with the way it it, okay. it warmed because I thought this had a lot to, to gain. And while the body dropped and the sweetness dropped, the booze didn't come through at all. And I was hoping the booziness came through. I got, I got a little bit more booze. Not enough for me to no. give it a better score. Because yeah, yeah. booze, booze to me, we know. I mean, that's right. that's a quality factor for me. I love right. a boozy beer. Right. This doesn't have enough for it. I agree with you on that. But you're, you're around, around the same, though. 2014 warm and cold is about the same for you? I think they're about the same. And I'm pretty pissed about it because I really <laughs> thought this was going to be like – I was ready to Calm be down, like – Jeff. I went 8-3 eight, I went eight, three to 9-3. three. Like, getting I, on the soapbox again. So, but no, it's not. It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's still the underwhelming, which actually lines up with, with community – opinion of it yeah you know it was the, it fell off it's the it black tastes like a like a heavier porter in yeah, terms of body it's, it's, it's yeah. very like a vanilla porter in terms of body just like whoop, it's quick quick and light really weird that it lightened up yeah i'm we i'm it's, i got a little bit more booziness out of it but it's still i'm too gonna sweet. go that's, that's whatever the score i rated it before i'm giving it one more point just because right. of the complexity of the fact that it actually did the opposite of what most stouts do when okay. they warm up all right <laughs> no, no, i start off at a seven two 
I'm gonna give it like a seven four. Like it's still just a hair, just a hair. A hair. But just still, a hair. It's, it's now it improved it's a still little an bit. Increase, but now let's. Yeah. I think if it would have aged for another year, just you for given fun, it more flavor. Because I know Mike is pissed off that it's going long. So like, just for fun. No, this is a cool if episode. This, I don't if mind. this were not a vertical and you only had fourteen, would it still be a seven four? It would be, yeah. Okay. It's for some. Uh, for, for you bourbon, said no. no. I agree. I don't think no either. No. For a bourbon barrel stout, and for me who loves bourbon. It's it's just like I would. <laughs> it's underwhelming for what it is. Yeah, I'll yeah, give you that. Yeah, it's but just, by itself, not comparing it, I would give it an eight point five. Yeah, a mid yeah, B. I I would give eight. it. I would go from eight four to like eight seven eight eight, eight on right. it by itself. So yeah, don't right. if you see fourteen on the shelf, don't be like, oh, these guys oh, said these it sucked. No, no buy it's it, still please. a great beer. Yeah, it's just uh, comparison to two great beers. It's there. It's the right. third greatest beer of the right. three. Yeah. So, but it's still it's still a, a good buy. It's still an mid-level B it's, uh, fucking get it just, no just we're fucking just three get it. dudes behind <laughs> microphones if you fucking want to try it spend the nine dollars to fucking get it <laughs> it is only nine dollars yeah. yeah for nine dollars i would give I would you nine dollars to fucking get it <laughs> i'll take that nine dollars now no the guy <laughs> when he signed it, it I'll, I'll, the funny thing it. is it's such a black sheep in the in the bourbon uh county <gasps> the portfolio 2014 bourbon county <gasps> it's such a black sheep that the, when i bought it the guy was like uh i have this too if you want it and I'm like, dude, I've, I'm trying to get a vertical. Of course I want it. And he's like, oh, really? All right, yeah. I mean, we got a few. I want to continue like, that. All I right. want to continue that because I had an epiphany the other day, and I want to save it to after the show. The weirdest thing. I was just kind of like, okay. Boss yeah. is ruining me, by the way. It, you're untapping everything? No. <laughs> I will. I, once this happens, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll, you know, I want to, we're losing the sun, so I kind of want to. Plus, get all I this. actually got to get started doing yeah. things. All right, here we go. Here we go. Tell One more. 15. 15. What do you think of the nose? You didn't even comment on it. You don't even care. He's drinking it already. The nose mellowed out. Yeah, a lot. The nose mellowed out a lot. The nose is in line with 14 now. Yeah. 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 Weird. So 2015's aroma is 2014's. Nine point six. I just yeah. Nine six. I just I had to get a change of pants. <laughs> Nine point six. Wow. This is just as good as Black Tuesday from the brewery we had the other week. I don't remember what I gave way. I don't remember what I gave it. It's you better. You gave it a 9.5, I believe. Okay. Nine. You still like the schizophrenic narcoleptic. You gave You're that a 9.7. 9. Seven. nine. Oh, yeah. What? Well, well, All right. Yeah, listen to I the episode, bro. This is <laughs> I don't I do not give out higher than 9.7. So this, as far as enjoyability on my scale of all, nine of six. Them, I'm giving. I'm giving a nine six nine. I'm going to give it a nine seven. I'm giving okay. it a nine seven. Okay. Because you goaded Perfect. me into it by saying narcoleptic <laughs> dickhead beer. I don't remember. It was nine seven. If you listened to the last episode, you you would remember it. Who, who was that? Bar, who was that by? It was when uh, David. It's the the craft beers with Ken. Oh my God! Yes. Boss was a fucking nutcase. Wow. Yeah. That was a great episode. He's here. I need to, I know I need to listen to that one. He didn't. He said he didn't want to join us today because there's only six people in the bottle share. So he brought 19 times too much pre beer, and he's like, "I'm gonna be so fucked up after this episode." Why does he share? Okay. We well, well, I won't. I won't get into it. So nine, the two thousand nine nine seven. Nine, this is, yeah, this is a this nine is six This is as for perfect me. as you can get with. Goose, what do you think? I give it a nine five. Oh, buddy, we got him. So I'm gonna take mine out of the fridge and just chug the whole bottle. Straight A's. Drink yeah. them warm, people. Drink yeah, them warm. Drink them warm. A. All of them improved, except for fourteen for me. But as an yeah. aggregate score, all of them improved by warming up. Drink Imperial Stouts warm. So before Goose has to go, thanks again for watching, and thank you, Jeff. You made this episode possible. You you're, did. You're welcome. This everyone. episode is, was sponsored by Jeff, Mr. Hollywood. You got. I mean, you got. Not, I plugged we're not it. Drinking our weird beer. We will, but I'm not going to record it though. I mean, on on the camera. Why? It's weird. What's right. the weird beer? So, thanks again for watching our very special two thousand or three year vertical of Berman County. I think this episode is going to be gold on the internet. I hope so. My face will make it gold. Yeah. Wait, but we still have. Three and a half minutes. So let's crack that other beer. All right, let's you get gotta it. go to work. No, I don't. No, you gotta go to work. No, it's fine. We can yeah, crack it. Count him out. No, fuck Thomas. You gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go to work. So Jeff, it's the uh, plug it anywhere section. Is this now back to the old episode? This is now back to the old episode. All right. Plug cool. it in the. We got, we have to call it something. Should we call it plug it in the Prius? I like or plug it anywhere. Plug it, you want to do the plug it anywhere? I think that's sexual. Okay. Gets the people going. So let's let's plug it anywhere. All we right. want to plug it. We're gonna plug it anywhere.
Guys, check out our uh, Facebook page um, for World of Beer UCF. We are putting out some really awesome events uh, that are going to start. We're going to start doing some different stuff. We have a new marketing manager who's been pretty innovative with some cool things. Um, we did the burger eating contest. It was very fun, awesome event. Some other things we're going to do, we're, we're working on doing an Easter egg hunt for okay. Easter Sunday. Dope. Um, we're going to hide bottles of beer throughout the area, not necessarily in the bar, but throughout the facility. The, the, the vicinity, the, the vicinity of, of where we're at. Of yeah, right. They're going to be empty beers labeled with prizes on them. You find one, you get a prize. Something cool like that. We thought it'd be really fun for a Sunday, Easter Sunday. Go to church, have a good day, and then come drink some beer with us. Yeah. Um, we're working on doing a really, really awesome event with a, a homebrewer festival. So, I'm if we can pump for that. If we can get what I want to get for it, I'm not going to put any details out on on this right now because it's not finalized yet. Um, it's in the works, but the idea is out there. The ideas are insane for what this could be. It's going to yeah. be, really, be cool. really cool. I'm really excited um, for that to grow. And, and we're really just trying. We're, we're doing a local uh, a community twist on our events now. So just check them out. Always look. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Follow at the bar as well. But follow us on Facebook and <laughs> and see what we have coming down the pipe yeah. for our cool events, because we're going to be doing some really awesome stuff. Uh as far as plug it anywhere goes, shout out Lexington, Goose Island, Bourbon County. Yep. They're both awesome. They yep. did a good job and made these episodes possible. So, yeah. Um, you have anything to plug? Yeah, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll and, plug it. Uh, in our this is not air. This is airing in like three weeks after. So coasters was awesome. Coasters <laughs> was sick. Coasters was awesome. All our timetable is so fucked up. But yeah, it's thanks for everyone who came out to Coasters Pub and Beer Garden. It was a great time. We had a great time. Thanks to David for inviting us out and reaching out and making that yeah. happen. And he's a swell guy. I know I'll probably be back. Oh, for sure. By probably, I mean, I'm definitely going back. Yeah. They're right there on the beach, so why not fucking go? Like, Bowegans, I got to give a shout out to them because they're fucking awesome. Thank you for bringing me a growler, finally, of yeah. me getting to taste their beers. Yeah, man. I, every time I have something, I had friends in town last time you went. Yes. And now I'm going out of town this time that you're going. At the time, yeah, their one year anniversary, which was awesome, by the way. So shout out to Bobby and everyone. I, at I apologize to everybody at Bowegans. I have not been able to make it out. I, I have some some things going on personally that I couldn't make it out for the one year. Right. Um. But I'm I was out of town and and you know I, I hear great things. Your Mike's <laughs> favorite brewery. Yeah. So that's got to be. Preston something. was Preston was very impressed. Good. If you can impress he, Preston, Preston, Preston good for really you, man, liked it because he is he's a discerning palate. He is. He's very particular. Yeah. But so that's Bowegans, awesome. Bo, shout out to Bowegans. They're my favorite brewery. Bobby and 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 uh, everyone there. Kevin, who I haven't met yet, but they're all really cool people. I'm gonna give a shout out to them every episode because they're that fucking awesome. But their one year anniversary was awesome. I had a great time. Got really drunk. It was a good time. But um, other than that, I don't know. Just just find us on Facebook, Twitter. We got new shit posting all the time like us on facebook so that yeah. mike can stop looking at 199 <laughs> yeah we're so close oh i got i gotta give another plug brew lando tours has their their brewery tour company and they they uh God, i'm not all like confused now they start it's pretty much they have an afternoon night and an all-day tour and they start at the sand lake wob really beer yeah so you drive the sand lake wob at the, whatever time you sign up for you they pick you up and for a Thirty dollars, I believe. You go to, you get a free ride from the Sand Lake Wob to whatever afternoon or night ride you choose for thirty bucks. You get the happy hour specials at each brewery, whether it's happy hour or not. Really? Yep. And you get wow. a commemorative pint glass, and they take you back to the Sand Lake Wob for thirty bucks. That's pretty cool. So if if I can remember correctly, and I'll post I'll post a, a picture on the video. The afternoon is ten ten. Winter Park and Orlando Brewing, I think. Okay. I know 1010 and Winter Park is in the same group. Yeah, I mean, they're right next to each other. That makes sense. So that's, that's one of are within three-minute drive right. of each so other. For those three breweries for 30 bucks, you're there for an hour and a half. They take you to the next one. You're there an hour and a half. They take you to the next one. The night one, which is, in my opinion, is the best one, Red Cypress. Okay. Love Bowegans. It. Yep. Hourglass. Awesome. Okay. I'm into all of that. For 30 bucks. Not in that order, right? I don't know what order they uh, do. It. I think a weird order. I think they do Bowegans, Red Cypress, and Longwood, and then Hourglass. I don't know. Respect. Check them out. That's we're, a good we're, one. We're gonna be going on that. Well, I am, and I have a plus one 
ticket. I'm in. So I figured, why not in- Count me in. We just have Jeff. to do it what on a fuck? day that I'm not out of town. <laughs> so or here. check out Brewlando. They just, they're a brand new business. And they're all really nice people. So check them out. Very cool. Tell them we sent you. Appreciate you guys at Brewlando. That's awesome. Yeah, so they're, they've definitely been very, very grateful. and Thanks for the support. Support. So to everyone who supported us lately, because we've been fucking blowing up. I'm excited. It's excited, been a lot man. of fucking work. For him. Yeah. <laughs> so next week, we have a very special episode, Jeff. We're going to have our first real listener, because Preston doesn't count. Oh, yes. Yes, we are. We're having Preston, an actual Preston, I've, I've show. known for like years before this, before we did this here. So Preston is a, a craft beer brother for me and for you. Yeah. But our first nice. actual stranger. I like Preston. <laughs> That's a good dude. Our first actual stranger who we don't know. So he's coming by next week. Our next episode, he's bringing. He brought some Texas beers back that he wants to uh, sit with us and super. From what you told me, super cool guy travels around yeah. collecting beer yeah. from all over the country. He emailed so us and said, "Hey, would really you guys? Cool. I got some Texas beers. I love your guys' show. Can I come in and we can do a tasting?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely." So next week, that gives us episode. a little time to work out our battle. <laughs> yeah. So next week is gonna have our first real listener. So that'd be awesome. I'm very excited for it. Very excited. It's really it's gonna be an awesome episode. And as always, have a great fucking week. Great fucking week. <laughs> Hollywood out. Bye.